Hey guys, it's Mentalizer1 and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to put Wii games onto your Wii using a USB hard drive. So this video is obviously targeted towards newcomers to the hacked Wii. Those of you who have been using a hacked Wii for a while now know how to do this. So first things first, you need your USB hard drive plugged into your PC. I'd recommend going for a uh, 500 to a terabyte hard drive maybe that way you have lots of space available to hold all your favorite games this tutorial I'm using a small hard drive just for tutorial purposes 7.24 gig so once you have it plugged in go ahead and download the file that I have in the description down below it's called Wii Backup Manager once you have it downloaded you're gonna be greeted with the zipped folder you're gonna right click it and you're gonna extract it using your uh, extraction program I use 7-zip it's a free software I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to use that and you're gonna click extract to Wii backup manager because there's lots of files in there you want it to be housed in a folder you're gonna double click this and now you're gonna see two different versions of this application the first ones if you have a 32-bit system the second ones for 64-bit if you have 64 bit like me, double click this. If not, go ahead with 32. It's the same software inside. And you're going to be greeted with this interface. So, right in this file section, you're going to add in your game file that you want to put onto your hard drive. Uh, so, there's two different versions of game Wii game files you'll see online. One is either in the form of ISO, and the other one's in WBFS. With this program, you can do both. There is another program that a lot of people online recommend that I don't like using at all and there's a few reasons why. One, well first of all that program is called WBFS Manager. So one, it formats your entire drive to WBFS and once it does that you can use it for hosting your regular files. It will just be reserved for Wii games which is fine. But the one annoying part for me is that it only takes in ISO files and puts that onto your drive. It doesn't do WBFS best. With this software you can do both. So for example I have a Wii Party right here and it's WBFS with other software I can't. With this I can. So if I click open so now it's in here right. You're gonna go to drive 1 and you're gonna select your USB hard drive minus drive E. Yours could be whatever letter H or whatever C is your hard drive so it's obviously not that. Oops. So you're gonna click drive E and it's gonna give this notification saying it's a valid drive but there's no WBFS folder that's a good thing about the software it just creates a folder rather than formatting your entire drive so click yes so as you can see here it's still a FAT32 drive but it contains your game folder so once you do that uh, go back to files check mark the game you wanna transfer to your drive and you're gonna click transfer to drive 1 and you let the software do its thing. This may take a while depending on your game size. Alright, so now the Wii Party has been transferred to the USB hard drive. We're ready to take it to the next step, which is um, moving to the Wii. So take your hard drive from your PC and plug it into your Wii. We'll see you there. Alright, so now we're in the Wii. Make sure you have your hard drive uh, inside the Wii. And you're going to go to your uh, USB reader so I like USB loader GX but there's obviously Wii Flow and USB loader CFG so click on it click start so if you guys don't have USB loader GX on the main system menu like I do for whatever reason it should be here but if you guys don't uh, go into your homebrew channel click start your Wii remote shuts off for a few seconds but it lights up again once we're in here and you're, you can load USB Loader GX from inside Homebrew if you don't have it on the main system menu. And so it's going to load up. And then you're going to select your game, click start. And there we are. So if you guys like this video, uh, leave a like down below, comment if you guys had any trouble along the way, I'll try to help out. Subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.